Imagine being able to control a smartphone, a computer, or even a robotic limb using nothing but your thoughts. No hands, no voice, just brain signals. That's not science fiction anymore. It's the mission of Neuralink, one of Elon Musk's most ambitious and controversial ventures. In today's video, we're diving deep into what Neuralink is, how it works, and why it could either revolutionize human life or raise some very serious ethical concerns. So if you're into tech, neuroscience, or just curious about the future, make sure you stick around to the end. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a deep dive like this one. What is Neuralink? All right, so let's break this down. What is Neuralink and why is everyone talking about it? Neuralink is this brain tech company started by Elon Musk back in 2016. And yeah, it sounds wild, but the idea is actually pretty simple. Connect your brain to a computer, not with a keyboard, not with a screen, literally with your thoughts. Neuralink wants to create a device that reads signals from your brain and lets you control tech just by thinking. But it's not just a party trick. Elon Musk's bigger vision is to help people with serious conditions, like those who are paralyzed or have neurological disorders, so they can move, communicate, and live more independently. And long-term, he's thinking even bigger. Musk believes that as artificial intelligence keeps advancing, humans need a way to keep up. And Neuralink might be our way to level up our own brains. It's kind of like giving the brain a Bluetooth upgrade. Sounds like science fiction, but it's happening right now. How Neuralink works now, before you imagine some giant helmet or wires hanging out of your head. Nope. Neuralink's main device, called the Link, is about the size of a coin. It gets implanted in your skull, and it connects to your brain with super thin wires, way thinner than a hair. These wires pick up your brain's activity, like the electrical signals that fire when you think about moving your hand or typing something. And then it sends those signals to a computer. Pretty cool, right? And get this, they've even built a surgical robot to do the implanting. It's like a brain surgeon, but with next-level precision. The robot's job is to avoid blood vessels and keep the whole process safe and smooth. Neuralink's big goal? To make getting one of these chips feel as routine and as safe as getting LASIK eye surgery. Real-world demos Let's talk real results, because this isn't just theory anymore. Neuralink has already shown off its tech in animals, and one of the most talked about demos featured a monkey named Pager playing the classic game Pong with his mind. Yep, no hands, no controller, just pure brain power. The chip picked up signals from the part of his brain that controls movement and translated them into game commands. Wild, right? But it gets even crazier. In early 2024, Neuralink made history by implanting the device in a human for the first time. The patient, who was paralyzed, used nothing but their thoughts to move a cursor across a computer screen. If all the data checks out, that's not just a cool tech demo. It's a giant leap forward for science, medicine, and how we think about human potential. The First Human Implant In January 2024, Neuralink hit a massive milestone. They officially implanted their brain chip into a human for the very first time. The patient, Noland Arbaugh, was just 29 years old and had been paralyzed from the shoulders down after a diving accident. The surgery, quick, smooth, and reportedly complication-free, and the results were jaw-dropping. In a live demo just a couple months later, Noland was moving a computer cursor in real time, playing games and browsing the internet, using only his mind. No movement, no speaking, just pure thought. He even described the experience as life-changing. And honestly, it's hard to argue. This moment isn't just cool tech. It could be a game changer for neuroscience, medicine, and the way humans interact with machines. Potential benefits. The potential of this technology is absolutely mind-blowing. In the near future, Neuralink could be a total game changer for people dealing with spinal cord injuries, ALS, or conditions like Parkinson's, helping them communicate, interact with devices, or maybe even regain some movement. But it doesn't stop there. 
Down the line, this chip could help restore vision, boost memory, or treat things like depression and anxiety by stimulating specific parts of the brain. And if you ask Elon Musk, he's thinking way beyond medicine. He's talking about telepathic communication, replaying memories, and even downloading skills straight into your brain. Yeah, like the matrix, but real. It sounds wild, but then again, Musk doesn't exactly do small ideas. Now we want to hear from you. Would you ever consider getting a Neuralink implant? Does it excite you, freak you out, or a little bit of both? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're always down for a good conversation. The critics and ethical questions. But let's be real, not everyone's sold on the idea. While Neuralink's tech is super exciting, a lot of neuroscientists are urging people to pump the brakes. Sure, moving a cursor with your mind is impressive, but decoding complex thoughts or emotions? That's a whole different level, and we're not quite there yet. Then there's the big stuff, like ethics and privacy. If your brain can talk to a machine, who's listening? Could your thoughts be tracked, hacked? And here's a big one. Who actually owns your brain data? You or the company that made the chip? Plus, if this tech really takes off, Will it only be available to the ultra-wealthy? These are the kinds of questions we'll all need to wrestle with as this tech moves closer to everyday life. What's next for Neuralink? Looking ahead, Neuralink has some pretty ambitious plans. They're gearing up to expand human trials over the next few years, with the goal of getting full FDA approval so the tech can be used more widely especially for people with serious neurological conditions. At the same time, they're fine-tuning everything, making the chip smaller, faster, and even capable of two-way communication between your brain and a device. Elon Musk has even floated the idea that one day, Neuralink could act like a kind of digital vaccine against things like Alzheimer's or other forms of cognitive decline, whether or not that's coming anytime soon. One thing's for sure, we're already laying the foundation for a future where our brains and machines work together in ways we've only imagined. So, is Neuralink the next step in human evolution? Or just another wild Silicon Valley experiment that's gone too far? Honestly, only time will tell. But one thing's clear. We're heading into a future where the line between our brains and our technology is getting blurrier every day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more deep dives into tech, innovation, and the future. Thanks for hanging out with us, and as always, stay curious.